Hey guys, welcome to the 26th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at bitwise operators. And if you don't know what a bit is, um, bits are what make up bytes, and there are 8 bits per byte. And bits can either be a 1 or a 0. And I'm sure you've heard people say that computers are made off of 1s and zeros, and well, it's true. So, um, what we're going to be looking at today is how to manipulate um, numbers on a bit level. So um, the first uh, bitwise operator we're going to be looking at today is AND. And um, what AND does is um, 5 is 101 in binary and 4 is 100 in binary. So what it does is if this bit is 1, if one bit is 1 and another bit is 0, then it remains 0. If they're both 0, then it's 0. And it will only write 1 if both bits are 1. So now when we click this button it should have a message box to show with 100. Zero, zero. And basically what this convert that to string here and then a comma and a 2, basically what that will do is it will just put it out in binary so you can understand how this works better. So now when we click this button you should just get 100. Zero, zero. There you go, 100. Zero, zero. Alright, so the next operator that we're going to be looking at is the OR operator. And I just have all these in a text document because I don't feel like writing message box a bunch of times and I already have comments all done. Alright, so basically this is um, this is very similar to AND. Um, what it will do is as long as one of these is 1, then it will do a 1. So since this is 1 and this is 0, it will do a 1. Since both these are 0, it does 0. And since both of these are 1, it prints out a 1. And it would the only way for you to have a zero in your code is if both of these are zero. So once again, we should get one zero one. We click this click new button. There you go. Okay. Now the next operator that we're going to be looking at is the shift right. And basically, what that simply does is it just shift your bit. It shifts your bits to the right. All it is is two greater than signs right next to each other. So um, here, since we have 1, 0, 1, it will just shift it to the right 1. So if you can imagine physically moving the number um, 1 bit to the right, it will get 10. And basically what this does is it will just cut off the number of bits since you're shifting it to the right. So it will just delete this bit, get rid of it. So now when we click this button, we should get 1, 0. There you go. Now the next one that we're going to be looking at is shift left, which is the exact opposite of shift right. It just shifts your bits to the left, or it adds bits. It adds bits to the end, and when it adds bits, it always adds null or zero bits. So, um, if you can add again, physically moving the number um, one zero one to the left one bit, um, then you're just going to add a zero to the end bit. So now. When we debug, we should get one zero one zero. There we have one zero one zero. All right. Uh, the next bitwise operator that we're going to be looking at is XOR, and what that does is uh, it will only um, uh, print out a one if the if these are different. So. Since these are both 1, it's a 0. Since these are both 0, it's a 0. And since because these are different, it will do a 1 there. So now when we debug, we should get 0, 0, 1. That is 1. The final um, bitwise operator that we have to look at today is the invert. And basically, it just inverts the bits. So if this is a 1, it's going to be a 0. And since these all up here are just zeros, like if you can imagine there's a bunch of zeros right here, it will do a whole bunch of them. And since this is an integer, um, and there are 4 bytes in an int, um, it's going to be 32 bits. Because there's 8 bits per byte, 4 bytes, 4 times 8, 32. Alright, so this has to be 32 bits long. So now we should get, um, I don't even know. 29 ones, a zero, one, zero. 
There you go. Oh, and I forgot the sign for it is just a little squiggle. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I know like you may not use this in your code a lot, but like if you're ever looking at like a source or something, or you see this like online, like a tutorial or something, it's always good to know this. So if you have any questions, um, just talk to me on AIM. My AIM is ITZAdam5. Um, so yeah, see you guys.